everybody. My name's Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and you are watching the final of the Omega Flight Club Qualifier. This is the fourth of four qualifiers going into the Flight Club Championship events. There's going to be four, uh, excuse me, three championship events. The recruits, those are people who in Swiss of the qualifiers got zero to two wins. There's going to be the veteran championship. People who got four to uh, three to four wins in the uh, Swiss of our qualifiers. And then there are the aces who are those that went five wins or six wins in Swiss during our qualifiers. They are our sorting hat of sorts. So looking forward to seeing who wins the Omega qualifier, either Don Copens or Andreas Carlson. Today, our round is brought to you by, by Co-op Print Yards. Use coupon code GSP for 15% off. And if you haven't taken the Vader challenge, type exclamation point Vader in the, uh, in the Twitch chat and find out what that's about. I'm joined today by my co-host, Darren Granger. Hello there, everybody. And producer, James Ritter. Hey, guys. I think we might also have in the booth D. Yoon. No, he left. Oh, he left. Well, uh, our marshal for the event was D. Yoon, and uh, one of our our, uh, our judge was Daryl McDowell. So, looking forward to seeing what this fi uh, how this final ends up shaking out. I'm about to open the Choose Your Champion uh, bets. Darren, go ahead and break down these lists. So, over on the left side of your screen, player one, we've got Darn Copens. Um, I'm never going to pronounce his name correctly, so let's just let's get over it. Um, flying Zam Wessel with Treacherous, Count Dooku, Thermal Detonators, Rigged Cargo Chute, and Hull Upgrade. We've then got General Grievous with Treacherous, Impervium Plating, and Soulless One. And um, the, in the Nantex, we've got Boa Kret with Treacherous and Predator. And then over on the right-hand side of your screen, we have Andreas Carlson flying an Imperial list made up of six TIE Barons, uh, Barons of the Empire in the TIE Advanced Prototype, the TIE V1. Um, one, two, three, four, five of them have got Ruthless. Two of them have got uh, Tracer Threads. And four of them have got proton rockets. So pretty much all of them have got an extra munition. Um, five of them have got the uh, the ruthlessness. And um, there's some interesting modification and stuff going on here. So we can see them split into uh, two groups of three with a, a tracer thread and a uh, two proton rockets in each. All righty, fantastic. So, if you were playing Choose Your Champion right now, Darren, who is your champion? This is a really tough one. I mean, we saw earlier on today Dawn play against um, some Tire Advanced prototypes, and he managed to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge his way through all of those shots that were coming in um, to, to come out victorious. Um, again, similar, similar list here um with the the proton rockets we don't have foresight but as we said in the analysis to that game foresight's relatively un unnecessary it, foresight's difficult to get um to activate against uh dawn's list because of um the the, the points and the the repositioning possibilities mm -hmm. uh that he's got there so i think in this one my money's on the empire all right, and right now, looking at our Choose Your Champion poll so far, uh, it looks like Andreas at this moment is the favorite with 67%. There's still five minutes to get your Choose Your Champion bet in, so let's go ahead and get it. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about here, let's get some more in-depth into the Vader Challenge. If you're just joining us, you have no idea what the Vader Charity Challenge is. This is, uh, you know, for fun, if you hadn't noticed or hadn't heard, Darth Vader is going to be put in a TIE Defender uh, in the upcoming Sky Strike Academy pack. A lot of people are excited about it, but the question is, how many points? We suspect that it, he's going to be, uh, you know, a... a very used pilot and how good he is has been debated amongst many people uh, and some people argue very very strongly and some people have some strong feelings so you know what we looked at this as an opportunity to raise some money for charity so if you are willing to 
quote unquote, put your money where your mouth is, uh, take the Vader Charity Challenge. If you win, if you are correct, and uh, whichever side you're on, whether that be Team Vader, meaning you think Vader will be 99 points or cheaper, or Team Dion, meaning that you believe Vader will be 100 points or higher, if you are the winner, uh, then you have the possibility to win some swag. Now, if Team Dion loses and Vader turns out to be 99 points or cheaper, the Gold Squadron podcast will pick two people from Team Vader and for one year buy one copy of every expansion and release for X-Wing over one year. All right? Now, of course, uh, if team dion wins i'm not going to be giving all that stuff away to my team because i'm on the same team with you that's only if i lose it's like some personal uh <laughs> that's what i'm putting on the line but i will give away uh some t-shirts and swag to people on team dion in addition to that if you are on the losing side you uh you're giving away ten dollars to charity uh to a charity of your choice Posted on Facebook, Discord, saying, uh, I was wrong, hashtag GSP Vader Challenge. More information, exclamation point Vader. Click the link in the description. Now, it looks like Andreas is taking these Tyve V1s and splitting them into two groups to uh, to essentially cover what we've seen Don do, right, D Darren? He's taken Zam. He's... Zam covers one section of the board, and then a Brewer, Cret, and Grievous take the other. Yeah, I mean, we've seen um, the the previous two games that Dawn's played with the um, where he split his forces up into like a three pronged attack. Um, with these uh, barons here, they're, they're staying together as two groups of three. But as we've said before, they're really, really good knife fighters. So not only are they um, able to kind of get uh, get in amongst the rocks, they're able to stay there. And really control that middle ground. So it'll be interesting to see what he uh, decides to do with these. I think, I think the secret to breaking down Dawn's list is to take out Grievous and the uh, the Nantex first, and then go after Zam. Now here's a here's a little GSP Gold Squadron spoiler. Uh, Andreas Carlson is a big supporter of the show, and uh, we've been talking a little bit about Gold, Gold Squadron Paint Wars, an upcoming painting show uh, coming to a, the Gold Squadron YouTube channel pretty soon. Uh, Andreas is actually one of the contestants. He can't tell you that because he's under NDA, but I can because I'm the boss. So, yeah, there you go. little tidbit there about Andreas. Uh, really, really good painter, and I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing what... Uh, what he brings forward in Gold Squadron Paint Wars. But right now, he's in the final, and um, I'm liking the positioning here of the Tyve V1s. I really do. With this middle, uh, the red, green, and white uh, squadron there, I like that they're taking up the middle of the board because after they do the one bank to the left, which is pretty much a telegraph move next, next turn, um, they have the option to either head to that right side of the board and help that fire group on the right side take on Brewer, Cret, and Grievous, or if they want to to give uh, give Zam some trouble, they can do that. But I'm having a feeling they're going to end up at the top of the board and uh, and leave Zam to her devices. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're in an interesting position. Obviously, where Red is, he can't go straight ahead there. But the, the one bank on them is blue. It clears from where they are in terms of uh, keeping their arc around. They don't need to move fast, and they can move as as one unit. I think we might see the um, the group that's on the right of the board, the the pink, the yellow, and the blue. I don't see any harm in them doing a, a quick maneuver towards General Grievous. So try and close that net a little bit more. Did you mute yourself again, DM? Nope. No, sorry, I was typing oh. something. You, you, you <laughs> finished the sentence right as I started typing. I was like, I can't stop. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think the, uh, the the group of three that includes Number Pink, obviously mm -hmm. the favorite. Um, now, Number Pink is the only one that doesn't have Ruthless, right? Uh, he, yep, he's got... Uh, Pink has got uh, Proton Rockets, but doesn't have Ruthless. Mm -hmm. Number Pink's Ruthless in itself. But this is true. Now... <laughs> 
Now, let, let's talk about the choice to bring Ruthless in this squad. I know that a lot of people shy away from it because you, the, the, the base logic is, why would I kill my own ships, right? Like, that, that seems counterintuitive. But the reality is that everything on the board is a resource. And Ruthless taps into the potential of using your own health as an offensive resource. If you can, even if you end up like half points, half pointing your ship or even killing one of your barons of the Empire, but that gets a Zam off the board, worth it every time. Worth it every single time. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, more than that, if it means that you're guaranteed to get the tracer threads through, of course, one damage on my ship means multiple on yours. Yeah. It, it, so it here is... we see uh, Pink going uh, with the three bank, as I say. No real harm in going at fast at Grievous um, because you can close that distance. Ooh. Going for the barrel roll. I was going to say, I, I don't, don't agree with that, but here we are. And we're going to get into our engagement. Bets are closed after 121 participants in our bets. We had a 65% favorite for Andreas with the 35% uh, on Dawn's side. It's interesting. On the, uh, the right-hand side of the screen, we've got uh, a ruthless list. And on the left-hand side, we've got a treacherous list. Yep. Both they... talents that are unique to their factions, and actually, you don't see that often. No, you don't. You do. You do not. And we are uh, we're getting some new faction identity cards, or additional, not new, but additional uh, new cards in in the factions as well. So it's cool. It's cool to see uh, some of these cards. You know, make make some resurgence, especially ruthless. You hadn't seen it for so long. And uh, we'll see how Andreas utilizes it. You can see that he's taking those bullseyes, spreading them out, seeing what he can get. It's a dangerous yeah, place to it, be. As you see, he's, he's trying to close the net on, let's say, bro, uh, uh, the, the Nantex and um, General Grievous. Yep. Now, do note, I know that the five Nantex did, uh, sorry, the five, uh, oh, somebody, some people probably just got triggered right there. The <laughs> the uh, five um, Inquisitors with Foresight won last week, and you might be thinking, oh, this is, uh, or got to the final last week. You're thinking like, oh, this is like the same list, right? Well, it just, it functions very differently, right? It, it, it is, this is here looking for big punch, not looking for uh, for, for nibbling with foresight this is looking for those big hail makers with uh with proton rockets all right brewer cret staring down a couple of uh has some choices here do you want to take a rocket from white and green or just from blue <laughs> or maybe no, also that. pink You've got Treacherous kicking off as well because of the um, how they're blocked. This is true. I mean, so yellow you... and red are the ones with Tracer Threads. Mm -hmm. So that red's probably the one you want to go after with both with uh, uh, Brewer and with Zam. Yep, I, I wouldn't doubt the desire to get rid of the Thread Tracers as soon as possible. What do we get? Taking a focus. And he is going to take the take the chance to, uh, to tractor here. Yeah, you get yourself out of those bullseyes. What do I mean? I think he's rolling. Oh, okay, he's going to the opposite direction. Very nice. So no bullseye ability. Still going to be taking a couple of shots, though, with reduced agility. As you can see, he can reach range three all the way to pink and blue. It's going to be at least four shots going in. Just the one. 
And guess what he That's right. And where's the priority here? Priority going to the White Baron. I guess you've got a shot with Grievous against that one as well. I'm trying to do some some type of focus fire here. Only one. And sp spends the focus, focus to avoid the damage. Going to go back to White now that it doesn't have any defensive mods. Ooh, low. Low. He might not even, might not even spend the focus here. I don't recommend. I don't it. think you do. Yeah. So Andreas has got lots of options now. What he does with these thread tracers, mm -hmm. probably he's going to go into Brewer. Here we go. I think you're ruthless. That. Yep. And there he goes. Gonna ruthless damage onto white to guarantee three hits. Yep. Target locks galore. Let's call it a pinata party, baby. And that's what I was saying about the um, the benefit of ruthless there. That you've taken one shield on your white uh, tie fighter, but you've given target locks to everybody else in the list other than yellow. And yellow is the other one that has thread tracers. All right, here we go. Spend the focus for two. This one is through a cloud, not likely to do damage. Almost. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Bunch of 2v3 shots. Hit crit. Nearly fully modified for all of them. Spends a focus to avoid the critical damage. But now you've got the range 2 and range 1 shot. Two more shots coming in. Remember these Nantex only have 4 health. No shields. Spend the lock. Spend the lock and the focus. That's 2. Got one. So, can he get a little bit more here? This one He's doesn't have any one here just for the target lock. Yep. Roll him. Oh, back to the snake eyes. Only one. Hey, you know what? Got half points. Got half points. So probably not what Andreas was looking for. He was probably hoping to take Brewer Cret out this turn with the number of shots. We've still got yellow shot into Grievous. Mm -hmm. Spence for two. And Grievous, Grievous has the reroll. Roll him again. So it takes one. I think Andreas comes out ahead in that. The I mean, only ordinance he's spent is one tracer thread. And the uh, the rest of the list have still got all their proton rockets. We got a you should have think you should thank me trigger coming from Zam. Oh wow! All right, there you go. Slap down the one. This is a big big brain play here. You should thank me if you're not attacked and you're in an attack arc. You can perform a bonus attack against anybody in your arc. And do and, coup to crit. But whiffed on the attack. Got enough. So. Uh, that Zam pilot ends up, that starts with two charges on it, and now down to zero. I like the play, though. I know it didn't work out, but it was a good play. Yeah, no, absolutely. I will say, I think that one, the you should thank me uh, for the bonus attack, is the most un underutilized part of, of the... Uh, uh, of the of the Zam condition cards. Yeah, I think we we may see a uh, turn left to or sorry turn right to from Zam and drop a cargo if uh, if Red doesn't get out of there quick enough. <laughs> you just you just <laughs> chomping at the bit for that one, aren't you, James? <laughs> I want to see the I want to see the debris. <laughs> 
I don't think Red's going to have uh, too much of a problem getting out of there. I mean, it can easily do the three straight focus boost. Can you, can you let me dream? No. Oh. I am the crusher of dreams. How many people in the chat? How many people in the chat have participated in the Flight Club qualifiers? Where, where, are, my, where are my qualifiers at? Yo, yo, yo. What's Flight what's fly Club? <laughs> yeah, what is Flight Club? Flight Club is yeah. a fantastic series of events that allow players to play in championship events of their level. Flight Club, join us. I guess technically I've taken part in one of them. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I've nope. watched them all. I and I appreciate that. That's fine. We do you're supposed to talk about Flight Club. One letter makes a difference. Talk about it. Talk about it. So I think we're ready from Andreas. Just dawn thinking about what he's gonna do. The first rule of Flight Club is play X-Wing. Yes. Okay, so it looks like the Zam card has been selected. And and no worries. I know some people are like they they were upset that they uh, they they missed their chance. Uh, Galaxies twenty twenty one going to be kicking off here uh, very soon. Very well, soon. pink takes the rock and zero consequences. Sometimes it works out that way. That's a calculated yep. risk. If if Andreas is willing to just take take guaranteed damage uh, with Roostless, I'm not surprised that he's just like, rock, whatevs. All right, went a little too fast there. Did end up bumping. Are you spreading out the qualifiers more for Galaxies 2021? Yeah. Flight Club, I, I, I did it pretty much lightning one after another uh, just because of the time the timing that I wanted Galaxies 2021 to have. They're basically, they'll be about one a month. Well, it looks like we've had a change of target priority here for uh, Grievous. Mm-hmm. Adar42, that's a talk for another day. <laughs> we can talk about it after the final. Here we go. Barrel rolling to the right. Does get the block. But right now, Andreas is only going to have two shots on him. Yeah, only one of them's Procket as well. And Zam turning out. Going to be able to use that gun. See, could have dropped Stress Cloud there. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams. Prefers Dash. actions. Yeah, no, absolutely. You spend the lock. Get the four. Four hits. And spends for two. Taking yep. half points there. Could potentially see a uh, dead Baron here. That's right. This is going to be range one in bullseye. Four dice. Get the roll. And that's another potential four, or is he going to hold on to that focus? He's looking at... Spend it. He's looking at any other shots that are coming in. The red is the only threat. 
Do you have the confidence that you'll take it off the board? Oh. Oh, no, he's uh, not going to spend it, but he's going to do a blank. Uh, okay, before before the roll. Got it. So ends up dealing a critical damage, and what do we get? I missed it. Uh, damage sensor ray can only focus. First thing, if you were going to go to the effort of doing a blank, you should have spent the focus as well. That's that was my thought as well. Grievous does have a shot. I, I think you're going on red. Nope, he Ooh, is going gonna he go ahead and white. Range one shot. Focus. Two crits. Trying to strip the focus off of the off of the guy with a rocket on you. Not going to get it. Denied. I applaud your effort, Grievous, but you're going to get popped. All right. The Baron's turn to check arcs. Green, no shots. Here's going to be range one into Brewer Cret. Three on three. Brewer did keep a focus. We'll see if... Uh... Oh, Natty, three hits. Let's see if Brewer regrets leaving this guy alive. And the answer is a little bit. Takes one. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been much worse. Only takes one there. Absolutely. And now the blue Baron of the Empire is going to try to soften up Grievous just a bit. It is a range one shot. Three dice. Spends the focus Spend for two. Focus. Might consider Ruthlessing for three. And the answer is yes. Yeah, uh, I like that. Where's the damage going to? Going pink. on pink. pink. And three drive through right there. One, two, three. We got Grievous down to three hull. And here comes what I guess is going to be a procket to try to put him yeah. over the edge. Yeah, you've got the option as well. With uh, You've got the focus. You've also got the option of yellow to ruthless. That's Don't five. Even with, tr even with treacherous triggering well, right here. You, well, no, you've got treacherous. You and got you've also got the... Um, Oh, you got plating. Solid. You got you got plating, you got imp impervious plating. Let's see what happens. So he so used treacherous the... treacherous first, gives a strain yep. to pink. Yep. You then get rid of another one. Hit. Hit. Direct hit. It is yep. a ship crit. It's gone. Weapons failure. Second yep. charge gone. Grievous walks away. <laughs> Yep, and that is the beauty right there of taking crits with Grievous. Grievous with, uh, only took Grievous. one damage through that? Crazy. Yep. One damage only. With with two upgrade cards, he took five damage down to one. Yeah. Yeah, because he rolled the evade. Yeah. Wow. That's... You know what? You ca it can't happen all the time, but sometimes... It can. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. <laughs> so that means I quite like the three sloop here from three, Grievous. Four, five, four, three, so that means Grievous is down to two hulls. Is that right, James? I want to double check. Um, ish. Plus two. Correct. Sorry. Right, cool. Math is hard. Now we're good. We're good. I just, you know what? The the soulless one essentially is like the king hull upgrade, you know? Where it's just the, the, the superior messer up of uh, of counting. So I don't blame you. Yeah. Out of nowhere, two hull. All right. Big, big money there. Yeah, I mean, Dawn, 
yes, he's just saved Grievous, but he could have taken off that Red Baron. Mm hmm. 100% agree. Yeah, the, the Red Baron could have been taken off the board there if he had spent the focus. Um, we'll see. <laughs> you know, those ships that you leave alive where you make you make that small, you know, because what I looked at it is Dawn made that, uh, that move out of fear, right? Not spending the focus was a yep. fear of, of the shots coming back at you. And uh, a lot of times those, those little ships you let live, they're the ones that end up biting you in the butt because now you you left the resource out there. It's gonna it costs you an additional turn. It costs you a damage on Brewer. Yeah, but the, but the only shot he had coming back was that red Baron. Yep. Potentially green, and you, it was really difficult to see whether green had a clear shot or not. Yep. And now you have a half points Brewer Cret. Yep. Yep. And you're gonna have to waste a shot into a Baron, which isn't easy to kill. So hopefully everybody has enjoyed our coverage of the Omega Flight Club qualifier. I know this is great. I love watching watching you guys play, seeing what this hyperspace meta evolves into. Because I know I know some people are like, oh, there's so much spacers and tracers and there's all this. I would tell you, like, both these lists out here are are like next step evolutions of where we started, right? Like every week we're getting different evolutions. And I think by the time we get to uh, – well, by the time we get to Ace, there's a potential we got three new new whole boxes worth of stuff. Yes, potentially, if we get points for the newest sets, and assuming TTS and Yasby are ready, by the Thursday before the Ace Championship, those new ships will be live. So here we see uh, Zam dropping the uh, thermal detonators, just the one, which probably means Brewer's going to get out of there. All right. Looks looks like we need to uh, to John Madden some uh, some people aren't understanding how Grievous only took one damage there. I got you, fam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it out for you. I get it. It's it's really really strange. Okay, no worries. Let's see. Where does this show up? Right there. Okay, cool. So there were five hits, right? We had five hits. Grievous. Yeah, but let's let's just take that out there out of there for a second, just because it's right in the right in the middle of the board. <laughs> Grievous through one evade, right? Correct. Okay, so so minus one, we got it, we got it down the four. Then treacherous, like uh, James just put up there, says cancel one hit by giving an enemy ship a strain. So that brought us down to three. After that, Impervian Plating says, if you take ship crits, you can spend a charge to get rid of them. He got two ship crits. That canceled out two more, bringing us down to one. And that's how we ended up down to one damage. So ho hopefully that clears it up for anybody who was, uh, who was confused. But yeah, that that is how all that worked out. Okay, so we see these barons now trying to close off the different lanes for Grievous to try and escape. Um, with so many of them, he's probably going to bump. I can't really see a way out for him, other than maybe a hard one down. Mm -hmm. Sorry, a hard one to his right. His right, yeah. I realize when I rotate my screen round, yep. people can't see it from that. Yep. So look at the three bank. Honestly, not terrible. He is sitting in blues, uh, blues arc. Yeah, but it... blue doesn't have the uh, the focus there, so right. It's not ideal, but yeah. And there we see big disengage from Zam and uh, the Nantex. Legendary 4K from the Nantexes. Yeah. But, uh, Marsh Cliff, no, you can't no. use. Um, you can't flip the cards. So let, let's let's give context for people who didn't read that. So uh, some uh, Marsh Cliff asking, could you use um, Soulless One on when you're shielded? And the answer is no. 
because it's it just goes directly to the shield. It doesn't involve a, uh, a card there. Good question, though. Could understand the confusion. So one crit's just gone into Grievous, um, rolled, but uh, managed with the re-roll to, uh, to avoid that crit. Which is lucky, because he's got no more um, Impervium plating left. Yeah, so once once the plating's ripped off your ship, you get two chances to do that. Uh, that's it. You can take the ship crits after that. So that was interesting, because he chose not to use Ruthless, because he was a ha he would have half-pointed one of his ships. But yeah. he would have gotten the kill. It happens. Managing Managing resources... They are back to the dials. Now, uh, somebody had asked, "What about uh, how would that work with uh, with concussion bombs?" So, concussion bomb, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, um, you you are dealt a face down damage. And then you have to pay the cost. You either pay the cost or don't pay the cost in order for it to uh, be... Is it dealt face up or is it turned face up? That wording on Concussion Bomb would matter. If, if it says expose, then Impervium Plating would not work. Because you were not dealt a crit. You were dealt a face down card and then it was exposed. So no, Concussion Bombs would not trigger Impervium Plating. Factoids. Fun. Words. <laughs> so same with uh, Thane. Yeah, it, it's, it explicitly says expose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like Thane exposing a card or... Um, was it Concussive Gunner, Suppressive Gunner that we saw yesterday? That one deals the damage. Uh, no, it doesn't. It flips a card up. Are you talking about... You're talking about so, Thane ability? Wait, because you, 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 you named two two cards. I think that was a confusion. So Thane ability is you expose a card, so you right. flip it. You're not dealt it. Right. And the suppressive gunner, you flip a card face up as well, don't you? No, it's a deplete or take it, suffer damage. I think you're talking about the, the new not marksmanship like ability. The yes, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one says expose as well. Yeah. Exposed. All right. It's all about the exposure. We are swarming here. The Barons of the Empire trying to take up some space. Still getting in front of Grievous's way. It's a good way to uh, to make him so that he doesn't matter in this game. Keep him out of the fight while you try to deal with some of the other ships you got going. Andrea still ahead, 16 to 49. Barrel roll focus is the call here. He's trying to set up that procket. Yeah, I mean, here we can see that the, the maneuverability of these uh, TIE V1s, the, the first engagement, they went pretty much all in on um, the Nantex, and then they quickly switched, and they were all in on Grievous. Now they're bringing it back around, and they're just opening up that to potentially take on Zam, potentially take on uh, the Nantex. I think the idea is you finish off the Nantex first before you start giving Zam charges. Mm-hmm. You might consider boost focusing here to get another angle with the with the bullseye. Just thinking about it. Yep. Yeah, there there's we go. There's the boost. And there's the focus. So the bullseye you really want to look out for is on Nice! Um, this is a good move. Yeah. The sloop yeah, the here. Roll there is fan to block. Fantastic. Yeah. Correct. Not blockable. It's going to have an out of arc shot, so he's going to have some rerolls there. Well, not only that, it's it keeps Grievous alive because next turn he's then going to be chasing these tie advanced, mm -hmm. um, and he's not getting shot at. Mm -hmm. He's got now got a range one shot into a damaged ship. Brewer Cret is not in a good spot currently in two different bullseye arcs. Um, which which ships have used their their proc? Which you use the ship? So the only the only proc it left is green and blue. 
and they're both right there. Okay, cool. So he could come. He could boost forward to uh, avoid pink it. Still has pockets. Pink is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, I saw the shield. Yeah, pink still has pocket as well. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so he barrel rolled. I'm pretty sure he's still inside of blue's bullseye, and, and he's in pink. pinks. <laughs> Possibly in pink, and pink has a target lock. But you know what though? It, this could be. So does blue. It, this could be baiting out the. You know what? Saying you know what? My ship's gonna die. Please shoot the procket at me. Let's yeah. get let's get rid of this resource. That way you can't use it against Zam. Next level play. Bullseye for bullseye. That's gonna happen. So blue is still full health. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a three on three. Good solid roll to start. Able to hold on yep. to that focus. Hit hit crit. And Ooh. Natty Two's got. One shield. Just shit on blue. Zam. Yeah. Trying to strip one of these focus tokens. Not going to do with that. Does have a target lock, though, that got set up earlier. And two. Going to get another damage there. So that's half points on pink. Go creeping up 33 to 49. I think Grievous goes into pink. Oof, yeah. If, mm, you got the two die reroll. You do. And you want it to spend the focus. It's going range one. Yeah, I, I like the range one just because, like I said, I think Brewer Kret's going to die no matter what and just bait, bait out the Prockets. So, you know what? Please shoot the Prockets over here. Let's try to get my best chances of doing some damage that matters over here. Oh, only one hit. Feels bad, but more chance of getting points on uh, white, but. And here come the Ty V1s. Taking his worst shot first to see if he can strip the mod on a shot that uh, doesn't matter as much. One hit. Just do good and evade. Got it anyway. Surprised that they use the uh, Dooku there, but uh, I suppose it's forcing more shots to go into uh, into them. Here's yellow. Same idea. Saving the prockets if he can. Spend the focus for two. Yep. And Ooh. lives. I guess you fire pink next because it's only got the one shot. Yep. But the question is, do you proc it? I know I it's it's it. it's temptation. I think you fire. I think you fire the primary, and if yep. you don't get it, maybe you uh, you proc it with blue. Yep. Uh, spend the lock. Yeah. You got the lock and the focus. So if you get all three, he's dead anyway. Only two. Hit crit. Needs paint. <laughs> Gets it with spending. I'm sure Andre Andreas feeling probably a little triggered right now. All yeah, right. you nuke it. You nuke that bug. <laughs> there we go. Yep, just die. Five dice. Yep. yep, tired of playing now. Go forth and multiply. And that's that's there better roll. Has a lock that he picked up earlier. That's yep. full string. He's guaranteed. D E D. <laughs> then he rolls the blank. <laughs> yeah, there, there it is, right? <laughs> Thirty-three sixty-nine. Andreas leading. Nice. You're not gonna follow that up with anything else. Just, just that. That's what you nice. I mean, but anything else? Like you, just, you can't just like. Nope. I don't, I don't think white engaged, did it? Uh, Am I crazy? I think they've just said white's engaged and they're not shooting them. The uh, probably the Nantex. Cool. Oh. They, right. They've said white's engaged, so... Yep, they move on. Here we go. At the end of the day, the, the Nantex can... The, the, the 
white can engage and choose not to take a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to make sure that that opportunity is given because it must engage. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is this is our way. And in in this case, basically the way the way that we like to rule it is uh, every shoot every ship's given an opportunity to shoot, um, and usually it's like, it, it only really becomes a problem if if it's like a bunch of consequences have happened after it. Sometimes then it then you have to skip it, but most of the time yeah. you get something. Why why did not shoot into the Nantex? No, it didn't. It, it didn't shoot into the Nantex, but I guess he just doesn't want to shoot into them. He he said he shot into the Nantex, but uh, all right, just just move on. He 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 yep. said he did. Okay, let's go. Um. Said uh, treacherous refreshing is mandatory. Ah, yes. So yeah, treacherous on grievous will have refreshed. Uh, is it range? Is there what's the range on that? Is it zero to three. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep, they they got it. Cool. All right, one hard. Trying to get in Zam's way. Stack the box. Stack the box. All right, barrel rolling. The hope here being that if you can get more ships to to stack the box. Um, you might have a range one shot in the side of Zam. And turning okay. to the right. Did is, not see that. Is he trying to... Evade barrel. Oh, no, you can't. Can you barrel? No, you can't. Maybe he's trying to make white the one that blocks. Hmm. Okay, just bring bringing the arc around does end up bumping his buddy blue, his BB. Uh, I'm really impressed with um, how Andreas has been uh, flying this in terms of he's not afraid to point at rocks or objects and then just fly through them if it puts his ship in a better position either this round or the round after. Well, I mean, when you have when you have six of them, it's yeah. it is very easy to make those choices because it just nets you a. The, the the potential loss is much less than the potential gain. Yeah, but it's not only that. It also means that you've... Um, he's, he's also been managing his resource of his uh, ruthlessness and shields uh, really, really well as well. Does not so we, focus. Yeah, well, he's not taking any shots, really, other than through the gas cloud. Oh, Zam! Hop scotch, baby! Hop scotch! You know what? Drop a gas cloud here, uh, a debris cloud. Yes. <laughs> you could just <laughs> boost it. and boost and not take any shots. It's probably no, no, the better. Drop, drop a cloud. Do it. It's probably better there just to boost. Yeah. Is he really? <laughs> oh yeah. my! You know what though? You know what he's done? He's closed off the pass. Those Tyv yeah. ones now are gonna have to take a take a take a moment before thinking about jumping through that debris cloud. But it misses them all. Damn it! I thought that got. I thought that got at least one of them. All right, and here is Zam firing range one at the blue Tie V one. Hit quick, quick. Spend so focus. half points on blue. Blinking away little by little. So here, Grievous is going to have three dice and a reroll in the gas cloud. I think he's fairly safe. Two eyeballs there. 
gets nothing. From downtown, watch out for Treacherous. Treacherous is live. Spence for two. So one of those will be automatically canceled. And Treacherous would be the, the second one. No, nope, he's just going to go ahead and use the force. Yep. I mean, that makes more sense. Treacherous is a uh, is a resource that once, once you use it, it's gone. That does trigger the you should thank me, recover a charge, scoop up a shield. I mean, scoop up a uh, target lock, excuse me. Yep. I think the only one left now is blue. Mm hmm. Which you've got treacherous again because of where white is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't shoot here. And he has no way to well, yeah, modify that's the thing. You've that. You've just one. given Zam. You've given them an extra charge. And now, you better mean business will be live next turn. Yeah. So, looking at Ruthless. Yellow. Takes one on yellow to hit crit. The thing is here, you've given them an extra charge. All right. Well, you know what? At least he did end up doing one damage here. Uh, Treacherous will trigger. Cancels yep. one. And we get first damage onto Zam. But now what you've done is you've given Zam two charges, and White potentially could take two strain next to uh, have a have a strain next turn. Yeah, that can be real bad real fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, calculator Risto, though, he wants to start doing some damage onto onto Zam. That is the end game ship for uh, for Dawn. If you end up See, with. Go ahead. If this was an unlimited final or a two-hour final, you, you didn't have to take the shot there. You, you're not bracing the clock. But the game is a clock. Don't argue with no. me. No. <laughs> I will fight you. I'll fight you. Well, yesterday you did tell me you were going to cut me. So I don't, you know. There's no evidence except all the clips that got made of me saying it. Yep. Yep. No evidence other than the evidence. <laughs> But yeah, the, the 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 damage here, the, the risk hit now is Zam dropping the uh, bombs because those TIE V1s are in a really rough position with that rigged cargo chute being there. I, I got to call out e Eodor. Fam, fam. Team Unlimited Final. Unlimited Final? No. No, 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 no. I'm on that team. Have you ever... Okay. Have you ever... Are you going to say how I ever played an unlimited No, final? you no, have. I know you have. I haven't. I'm not good at X-Wing. Oh, you haven't? Okay, well, good. <laughs> I've had... I will tell you, I have watched players play a, 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 two, a untimed final, okay? I've been there. Okay, and maybe it's because the uh, the untimed final hurt me, and I was up to three o'clock in the morning waiting for this game to finish, and the game store like clerk asleep on like on a table waiting for this game to finish because they brought ships that were super defensive, and we were there forever. Okay. Wow, sub hedgehog is uh, triggered for some reason. Makes yeah. uh, makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Quidditch style five day final. <laughs> I'm out. So here we see the bomb drop. Yep. I mean that that makes sense. It threatens saying, hey, if you end the if you're brave enough to go through the debris cloud, you will be punished. That's really interesting, actually, because we've we've seen him do double drops before, and now he's being super conservative with uh with his drops, only dropping one here. Well, the thing is, he knows that they're not going to be turning through to the to the left to chase Zam because of where that rigged cargo chute was dropped. Alright. Andreas trying to get some position here. <laughs> All 
All right, so he's just he's just cl clearing the board. Say, nope, nope, get away from the bomb. Conserve, conserve, conserve. Yeah, we you, you can't chase through the uh, the uh, debris cloud anyway because you just um, you do a quick. Yeah. You know, I kind of I kind of wanted to see the white tie V one go a little faster. Four or five straight. Try to block Grievous to make sure he doesn't dig in any shots this turn. But at the same time, you are potentially behind Grievous if uh, if Grievous does go fast. Let's see what we yeah, get. Yeah, I mean, if Grievous has done a hard one here, it's it's a great play. And Grievous is sitting in the white Ty V1's arc. And scooting forward here for Zam. Zam is just hoping to hoping to catch something with that one forward. Maybe looking for some brave Ty V1s uh, busting through the debris cloud. But it looks like that thermal detonator is going to catch the green and the blue one. Yep, check range for Dooku, not in range. Takes a damage on the first one. That looked to be on blue. blue. Brings it one damage away from from being dead. And green also takes a damage. Best result there. That's what you were looking for. Zam taking the range two shot, just barely an arc. Ooh, not a not Spend a the lock. not a great roll. You do have some mods. Reroll them all, and you got two. Mm -hmm. And this one's unobstructed. It's so close, but it just misses the gas cloud. And you're gonna take them both. Yep. yep. One Half points on white. One away. Andreas's resource starting to uh, starting to wane here a little bit. Here's Grievous going into yellow. He's out of arc, so he's got his rerolls. He's got three reroll. Take it to four. Probably going to be a dead uh, Baron. Called it. Three go through, and it is done. Did he have a focus? No, he's got a focus. Oh, where? Oh, there it is on the other side of the ship. It was just be just behind the just behind the model. Just barely with the angle. All right. So lives. Lives. But does get half points. And these are the shots back into Grievous from white. Yeah. Uh, I think that was from green, was it? Yeah, that one was from green, that one's from white. It doesn't get yeah, anything so there. We've got four of these barons all on one hull. Green one shield away from half and pink at half. So it's looking pretty ropey for the uh, the barons. Zam relatively untouched. I have never heard that term. Ropey? Please explain. Like you're on the ropes like in boxing? I assume that's the uh, where that comes from. I, I have no idea. I think it's it's just a phrase. Cool. You never heard the term ropey? Never. In the chat, have you ever heard the word the the, the term ropey? I'm guessing Americans probably have never heard it. I, it's probably from on on the rope, you know. So, just googled it quickly. Um, informal British of poor quality. <laughs> a portrait of a pretty ropey artist yeah it, if it says it right there in in the description british fantastic i like i like the term though sounds good i like it conehead six thank you 76 thank you so much for the sub all right, now Grievous. Grievous is not going to have actions for a few turns. Now, but here's the question: 
How many turns... All right, let, let me try to formulate my thoughts here. If Grievous is not going to have shots and, and or actions for the next couple turns, can the Ty V1s take him off the table and prepare for the for the coming of Zam, who's going to be making his way around the corner? Yeah, they're going to have at least one turn of uh, no Zam to take advantage of this, so got to make it good. <laughs> the yeah. the Zamming. And they're in a good place for it because Grievous pointing right at that gas cloud. He's going to struggle to get out of uh, get out of it. Green can hard one, blue can hard one, white can hard one. Yellow and red probably just want to get out of the way. Maybe use them to block. Yeah, but I mean, Grievous could literally be anywhere this round. Like, there's there's tons of places for him to go. Just five straight. Right, so yeah, so you probably want to you probably want a hard one to the right with red, and hard one to the left with yellow. Nope, just going for the block. Mhm. Mm Wants to keep him on the cloud. What, this cloud is awful. He didn't. Uh, he didn't no, cloud. it said it said it it went over the cloud. Did it? It's, no, it's, he said he's oh. touching the Baron. Yellow fly no touching. Oh, I guess not. He must have rolled thinking he did it was the cloud. But he didn't take a strain, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so it looks like blue, red, pink staying on that bottom side of the board. All right, preparing blue to fire at the general. Taking a focus. And there's white. White should be able to lay some pain here at range one. Remember, Grievous is stressed right now. So yeah, no free. red moves available, and green is there for some pain as well. Two if bank Grievous to... One... Go ahead. Yeah, if Grievous one hard to the right, he's going to get that cloud and all kinds of free mods. Mm -hmm. All right. That barrel roll there covering a faster move that might go past. He's turned in. There it is. Okay, so and Andreas does have two shots here. Three. He's got blue as well. Yep. Is blue out of the out of Grievous's arc? It is. Green is still pretty healthy. Has only lost a single shield. White, not threatened from getting shot by Grievous. Red is at one health as well. So red blue might be the target for Grievous. Down. Jared Star Wars, thank you for your sub. Hey, um, James, real quick, can you cross off the? Uh, Cross off the prockets that have been used already. Just by clicking their names. All right. Yes. Just one second. Range three shot. Zam going into yeah, the favorite. one health. White. Baron, and he does live. Woohoo. Just refusing to die. Grievous could go at red for the kill or green for the half. It's range one going to green and does. One hit. Looking for a squiggle here and does not get it. Spends the focus to avoid taking the damage. Yeah, I would expect that we're going to see a shot with white here first. Mm -hmm. Because you can ruthless onto green. And you've got the focus, so you're rolling three dice against one green. Yep, because of the strain. Yep. That's enough. Yeah, I, I think. You, got left. Oh, he's got no. He's got two left. You got a ruthless. Yeah. Oh, you know nope. what? Not. Never mind. Guess a reroll though. He was confident though. He also had uh, other shots to follow up, so probably that was the thought. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna try to avoid ruthless. 
avoid wasting the resource, and uh, we take him off the board. Isn't he dead? No, because he got a reroll. Ah, the reroll. He's red. He's dead now. Got it. Sorry, I missed the reroll. I looked. I looked away. I yeah, looked because, away. Uh, because White was out of arc, he needed to ruthless to guarantee it because of Grievous's reroll. Mm -hmm. But he had two other shots coming in, so it, it, it makes sense. You you're not giving away half points then on green. Got it. Marcel Manzano saying, who would fly boring old V1s? People that make cut, Marcel, that's who. <laughs> so, uh, he only needs, Zam only needs to get half or kill one of these V1s to get up ahead. Yep. And they're going to have to do five more damage on to Zam to get half. Now, so one thing we've noticed, which we'll see if it stays consistent, uh, Andreas... Since he've gotten quite a few ships too near the either death or half points spot, he's gotten a lot less, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a lot less loose with using Ruthless. We, not, we might not see him use it anymore, especially with uh, giving up half points there does creep him uh, closer to giving up the lead. So right now he's got 97 points, Dawn 83. If he gives up half, that's going to be, you know, anywhere from 16 to 17 points, depending on what it is. So we'll bring up, bring Dawn even closer to striking distance. Yeah, so it's interesting now because um, Andreas has still got all of his ships left. Um, but Zam, as we've seen before, the ability to take the two shots per round is really, really interesting, especially when these ships are down to kind of one or two hull. Um, and they don't have the uh, the force modification like we see with Inquisitors because these are the barons. Oh, I'm sorry, my my math my math was wrong out there. It would bring him to a hundred, so he would give up the lead. <laughs> All right. So, four minutes and change left. And got uh, overlap the obstacle. No damage there. I like to play here from Zam. Here we go. Taking out half one of one of these will bring him in the lead. Oh, comes up short there. Feels bad. Not able to but get anything there. Does have two charges. The question is, did you go with do you go with the uh thank me later here or do you go with the uh, you better mean business? Yeah, he might he might choose not to shoot. Uh, but he, he went for it. He evades there. What do we get? You better mean business. Better mean business. Spend two charges. Here comes a bonus attack. Has the force available for a mod. And got a full string there into blue. It is through a, ga a gas cloud, but... Oh! Whoo! Cloud and focus. Spend the focus. Yeah, I know they didn't modify it there, but he's got the cloud and the focus, so no damage. Yep. No, this is into white. Oh, this is into, into white? white? 
Why would White yep. shoot first? Reasons. So yeah, White's dead. White, no, we hardly knew you. All right, sorry, missed, missed the, uh, missed the arc there. Here we go. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> can you, can you tell I'm going downhill fast? Here we go, blue, firing, two hits. Now, uh, Dawn is ahead, 100 to 97. Denied. Uh, why? Who's rolling three? Uh, nope. Yeah, too too many dice. Got to re-roll it. Whiffs Ooh. on the attack. Really good round for uh, Zam there. Yeah, I'm not sure why Green didn't shoot the threat tracer there. That'd have been perfect. I think because you probably got a couple of ships that are out of range. So in terms of ordnance, Green still got a procket. And pink still got a pocket. We still got a lot of thread tracers. I will say, time-wise, our, our clock is doing something very strange. Through the stream, it is showing it fast, but on James' side, it is on time. It's very like I'm, yeah. I'm at one minute thirty. Are you at? Are you at like three minutes twenty? Yeah, three twenty. Yeah. Try, try something, James. Can you add two minutes to your to your side? <laughs> I'm just curious if it fixes it. I don't understand what's going on. So I put it at like five minutes and see what it shows up. Yep. It says three minutes now. We got, That's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now, but there you go. We got the correct time there. Um, so we can get – I actually understand when the end is here because, Andreas, this is coming down to the wire 100 97 and oh, wait, how many I just, I just want to make sure I, I count this stuff before I uh, I say anything it's Zam it has a total of 11 health to start so has to take do four more six total damage no he's got to do five five, five more, five yeah. more. Wow. yep because that pesky hell upgrade I, no, you got to do you got to do six, right? Because he has with hull upgrade, he's got a total of eleven health. Yeah, but he has one shield down already. He's got, but yeah, I'm saying in total, you need to have done six health, six yes. damage, yeah, yeah. five more. Yes, correct. Got it. Yeah, um, just with two minutes left, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think Andreas is gonna pull it back. Mm, yeah. Where, where are the rockets at? Uh, they are on uh, pink mm -hmm. and green. green. Pink's got the potential with some rockets. Green, unlikely. Would not be surprised to see a talon roll or a K turn here from Zam. This is a big turn. Yeah, I mean, big turn. Honestly, you you could just you could just one hard into the cloud. Right. With uh with the time running down here, this is likely the final turn. Here we go. One hard. This looks like he's looking for a stack bump. Oh, okay, gonna, gonna take the barrel roll. Nice, all right. So looking to block some of the faster straight maneuvers, maybe even a three bank to the right is covered up. Obviously the one to the left is. Yeah, you'd have to get some big rocket shots here. Takes a strain on yellow. You just got looking looking for a big shot here. So you can see green green and yellow are uh, are, are primed for a three bank to the left. 
from Zam. Yeah, the, dan the danger is here with what he's done with Blue is if Zam bumps him, she's probably not taking any of the shots anyway. But it also protects Blue, possibly for being shot. Might be the other thought. Just getting it out of the way. Oh, man. This this turn. What's on the dial? Dawn, what do you got? It's a four straight. I think man, I think he's fine. Do you, do you boost out of there? He hit the cloud. He couldn't. Oh. He, hits, he hits the cloud. Takes a strain. He t oh, okay. This could flip it. He can't boost because of the cloud. Let's go. So you got to clear. You got to clear ship off the board. Pink is uh, yeah. is firing at you, or at least get rid of the mod. Four dice, range one. Roll two crits. Come on, number pink. You can do it. Is he willing number to spend pink. the focus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, don't don't spend it. Oh. Oh, he, he takes it back. He's gonna he's gonna roll the dice on the crit. Oh, it's a stun yeah, pilot. See? It's fine. It's blank. Took it's the risk. It's a wait. It's a blinded. Oh, stunned. Stunned. Oh, stunned. <laughs> why would you take the crit there? No, just take it. But why? Because you you can live. You get you get the focus on the shot. Now this is the last turn. He this may just go all out with ruthlessness. Oh, is he gonna ruthless? Yeah, you're ruthless. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. I don't think he gave him the chance. One. Okay. Yellow is at full health. He could have ruthless. Oh, uh, pink yellow. doesn't have. Pink doesn't have it. Sorry. Yeah, pink doesn't oh, have yeah. the ruthless. <laughs> oh, uh, he just pink, he. Though. He just killed pink to make it hit crit. How does he kill pink? With ruthless. Oh. Yep. That's a crit. That's another shield down. But you've just given up the points on pink. That's fine. You can you if you get half on Zam, you get fifty. You're trading. Oh, he should have he should have done it against yellow. Because yellow. Yellow shooting, wasn't it? Three hits, Three range bombers. one. Let's just let's just stay focused on the on the dice here. Here we go. Yeah, you pilot Three, pink now. Three yeah. hits. <laughs> that is a blank. Two more going through. We are one See? away. We did one damage. Spend the focus. Ruthless I'm yellow. Ruthless pink. Ruthless pink. Cause he's already dead. Oh, this is true, because you're in the same you're in the same yep. initiative. That's it. Yep. Andreas Carlson wins it. 116 to 147. <laughs> you what know what? I I what a game. In the if something's dead, just pile on it. Just, That's just right. Keep just keep <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Ruthless stack. Absolutely fantastic final. That is a great way to end a tournament. Great play. Good <laughs> game. Oh, my goodness. Great game, guys. Wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, the zombie Ruthless is a great play. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Man, zombie, yeah, zombie pink doing the work. <laughs> it always comes back to number pink, doesn't it, Darren? Number pink, the legend. There it is. There it is. Well, let's pay out the bets before I forget. Uh, Andreas was the favorite in that with 65% of, uh, of the vote, even though throughout most of it, it didn't seem like it was quite there. But the barons of the empire showing another variant of the TIE V1 that are fantastic. And it looks like in celebration, Isophane just dropped 45 gifted subs, meaning we just got to our goal and we got a ton of giveaways to do before we get out of here. Thank you so much, Isophane. That's a way to...